A significant M-class solar flare is erupting during the processing of this video. We will update fully in a few hours. Good morning, folks. Please give me the first few seconds to welcome some new life to my part of the world. I watched Mommy build, lay, and yesterday, there they were. Setting up the top story, starting with scenes from our electric Earth and Sun video. The hypothesis of Earth spots in our electric sky, connected like oppositely magnetized sunspots on the Sun. Remember we said that to test this, we'd need our weather balloon experiment on tour in the Mobile Observatory setting out next month, and specifically we wanted to see if we could detect some of the X-rays or the lower level gamma bursts from lightning. Folks, they just beat me to the punch. I can't be too mad given the confirmation of hypothesis. Folks, we're just one step closer to knowing our electric planet. Then there's this. From pyramids to tales of their gods to ancient technology and vast achievements of our ancestors lost. This might seem off topic if you're new to the channel, but it's not. Folks, this is incredible. These predate the Nazca lines by at least 300 years and apparently they have some pyramids they plan on excavating closer to the coastline. If you get a chance, also head over to Chandra to see their latest imaging of the flame nebula in both infrared and x-ray light. NASA making a huge deal about the best watched flare ever. What's so special? Obviously it was the smallest class of X flares and caused no doom. Well it's the first time they got lucky enough to point Iris at the Sunspot group along with the SDO, Hinode, Soho, and others. Literally, they made a good Iris programming move, and that's about it. They'll spend the time of their live show today explaining how the arcs and fields you see above the Sunspots interact prior to flaring, and yet somehow their internal driving explanation still makes sense. See what I did there? Anywho, happy birthday, Proba V. The ESA's vegetation sat is showing off for portfolio today. It's on the ESA's website. Next, we're jumping to the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, where I've sped up their latest animation 2,000%. It's purely mainstream take on the Big Bang Theory. It doesn't exactly match some of the electric theories, and especially some of what we've recently learned about Kirchhoff's Law, thanks to Dr. Robitaille. We're at the alert map to see the third volcano warning on the west coast of Central and South America. Then, shifting north to the U.S. where two nuclear stations had shutdowns hours apart due to similar generator issues. Top weather stories only today. Indian subcontinent under flash flood warnings as a punctuation to deadly heat waves they saw last week. Shifting next over to Australia, where one convergence line off the South Indian Ocean low is drawing the storms over this area. You can also note the tremendous temperature differential at the convergence line where equatorial air meets Antarctic. Mexico's storm, the early arrival for the tropics, dropping major rain on the coastlines now. Looking from far out, we first noticed two large earth spots in the Pacific shifting eastward. Wink, the trailing low affecting Hawaii as of now. Meanwhile, back to the tropics where this storm has virtually no shot at becoming a major one. The reason is the pressure. That storm down south is being cannibalized and shearing north into the low in the central United States, and that's aided by the clockwise spinning high pressure cell in the eastern states. Their force complements to send that heat and moisture north today, creating another bad day of weather. Remember folks, we are in the middle of our extreme event period for the United States. Take caution when it comes to your local conditions. Solar wind telemetry? That's one interplanetary shockwave, and there goes another a few hours ago. These shockwaves are only now beginning to cause geomagnetic instability, but the near-Earth energy has been in significant flux since the first impact. Polar radiation is elevated, but still low. Solar flaring with another middle-of-the-road day, where the beastly sunspots stay quiet in favor of departed active regions. Let's go delta hunting anyway. Your eyes draw to the big umbra cut by light bridges there, and also where two big umbras are connected within the same orange penumbral region surrounding the spots. Looking magnetically reveals a small negative intrusion into the mostly positive spot up top, but that southern bit we're eyeing is a true delta with positive and negative. If you missed last night's evening news on YouTube, check it out. How easy is this coronal hole power thing? All force departed from the north, and it's the first day of our earthquake watch without significant shaking, unless you count Oklahoma. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.